as Ari the prophet warns Asa. Now the Spirit of God came on as Ari the son of Odad. And he went out to meet Asa and said to him, Listen to me, Asa, and all Judah and Benjamin, the Lord is with you when you are with him. And if you seek him, he will let you find him. But if you abandon him, he will abandon you. For many days Israel was without the true God and without a teaching priest and without the law. But in their distress they turned to the Lord God of Israel, and they sought him, and he let them find him. In those times there was no peace for him who went out or him who came in, because many disturbances afflicted all the inhabitants of the lands. Nation was crushed by nation, and city by city, for God troubled them with every kind of distress. But you, be strong and do not lose courage, for there is a reward for your work. Asa's reforms. Now when Asa heard these words and the prophecy which as Ari the son of Oded the prophet spoke, he took courage and removed the abominable idols from all the land of Judah and Benjamin, and from the cities which he had captured in the hill country of Ephraim. He then restored the altar of the Lord, which was in front of the porch of the Lord. And he gathered all Judah and Benjamin, and those from Ephraim, Manasseh, and Simeon who resided with them, for many defected to him from Israel, when they saw that the Lord his God was with him. So they assembled at Jerusalem in the third month of the fifteenth year of Asa's reign. They sacrificed to the Lord on that day seven hundred oxen and seven thousand sheep from the spoils they had brought. They entered into the covenant to seek the Lord God of their fathers with all their heart and soul. And whoever would not seek the Lord God of Israel was to be put to death, whether small or great, man or woman. Moreover, they made an oath to the Lord with a loud voice, with shouting, trumpets, and with horns. All Judah rejoiced concerning the oath, for they had sworn with all their heart and had sought him earnestly, and he let them find him. So the Lord gave them rest on every side. He also removed Micah, the mother of King Asa, from the position of queen mother, because she had made an abominable image as in Asherah, and Asa cut down her abominable image, crushed it, and burned it at the brook Kidron. But the high places were not removed from Israel. Nevertheless Asa's heart was blameless all his days. He brought into the house of God the dedicated things of his father and his own dedicated things, silver, gold, and utensils. And there was no more war until the thirty-fifth year of Asa's reign.